So I was watching this thing. It was showing, uh, zero, no, like 20 streamer tips for streaming on Twitch. And one of them was, uh, have a starting soon screen so that you can help build hype for the next stream. I thought that was funny. That's not what the starting stream stream is for. The starting soon screen is so that you can wait for notifications to go out. That way you don't start streaming to no one. Hello there. I'm very late. I was supposed to stream three hours ago, but it's my day off, so it doesn't matter. Unfortunately, I had a prior engagement, which uh, just finished up. So I couldn't have streamed until it was over. Anyways, what I'm playing today is Exodia Crooked Cook. Someone mentioned it in chat. Funny thing is, I was actually playing this on my YouTube channel earlier. And I think it was the most viewers I've ever had on a, a stream over there. And I totally cut it short so that I could go to my, uh, my, my, my prior engagement. Which should show you where my priorities lie. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Dual Logs. Hello there. Perfect time. I was planning to watch some VODs. Excellent. Have you tried a That Grass Looks Greener deck? No, not yet. I was planning on it. I need this stream. Eldlich has me salty. Well, I mean, I'll probably go against Eldlich too, you know? So the only thing I've changed about this deck is I added in three crossout designators. I should probably also get two, um... What is it? Card designator? I don't remember what it's called. <gasps> but I got full combo. How was the date? I didn't go on a date. You guys think I'm a dirty normie? Okay, um, right hand shark. Last time I went on a date was back in 2013. See, I was working with this girl, and uh, we were we were chatting chatting each other up. One day, I casually mentioned that I'm really into redheads. Or I mean, not really into that. I, I, it's a preference of mine. And so, like the next week, she dyed her hair red. And I was like, is this a sign? Is this a... Is this an invitation? So I asked around. She said, yeah. We went on one date. We saw a movie. We ate some... We ate some dinner. We came back to my place and watched another movie. And then I took her home. And then she, uh... She kind of ghosted me. And that was the end of that. Apprentice Delusion Magician. A big Sag Lodge. I mean, I have the combo. This is good to go. Really? Looks at profile pick? Never would have guessed. Looks at the Akiza profile. Oh, the redhead thing? Yeah, I have a... Uh, I have a preference for redheads. However, I like all hair colors. I just like red the best, you know? It's like all flavors of chocolate ice cream. They're all good. It's just like Rocky Road. Probably the better. <laughs> what a chance. <laughs> Hold up, you're telling Mr. Long is the man who actually picked up on a hint? I mean... I was 21 at the time. I don't know if anyone watched my 200k... Um, stream my 200k Q&A stream but uh I had a lot of um oblivious stories in the past which I probably won't repeat here ass or tits <gasps> they're both wonderful in their own way 
Although my preference is definitely the the first option. Did you kiss her? No. Why would I do that? We went on a date. Who kisses on their first date? Ew. 200k seems like so long ago. It was about a year ago. I only gained 50k subs in a year. Maybe it was like, that was about a year. Six months ago, maybe. I don't remember. You cooties, not only did I not kiss her on the date, I've never kissed anyone before. Because kissing seems gross. Do you know how dirty the human mouth is? Like, if someone bites you, you have to like go to the hospital because they might have infected you. Not even your mom? No, who kisses their mom? That's gross. You guys going out on dates? No, this was eight years ago. I was talking about the last time I ever went out on a date, and it was eight years ago. Since then, I have had nothing but L's when it comes to asking girls out. So. <laughs> I wonder why Pwn's going to figure out that he can't actually win. Oh wow, the stream quality really went down. I think I'm the same age as you and I haven't gone on a date since 2011. See, we are the same over here. Actually, it might have been 2011. The movie we saw in theaters was The Campaign. So whenever that movie came out, that's that's when, I, when it happened. Actually, I can just look that up. The campaign came out in 2012. Oh, it was 2012. <gasps> Barrier statue of the dark? Whoa. You don't kiss your mom on the cheek? No. Do you? That's weird. Chat, you still alive? Oh yeah, the stream is super unstable right now. It says poor. Oh, it's fine now. Went through a little bit of a hiccup. My last date was when the Simpsons movie came out. Oh my god. That was 2007. You guys are all going out on dates? That's hard, Drew. It's because you're playing Law of the Normal in real life? Exactly. You don't kiss your mom on the cheek? Last date I had was last year, about November. She ghosted me after. <gasps> Sounds like my story. I hate Eldlich. <laughs> if you hate Eldlich, just play uh, three copies of Harpy's Feather Duster. Problem solved. Just say you're a Twitch streamer, it works miracles? I'm pretty sure if I told someone I was a Twitch streamer, they would just like, what the hell's Twitch? <laughs> I think it really depends on the crowd. <laughs> like you just go up to a random girl, hey. They're like, before you scream, I'm not here to mug you. But also, do you know I'm a Twitch streamer? And they'd be like, uh, what the hell is Twitch? It's like, well, fair enough. Maybe he hasn't figured out that he can't win yet. <laughs> so, chat, did any of you guys go out on uh, on dates? Do any of you guys have plans for Valentine's Day, actually? Valentine's Day is, is next week, right? Let me check. Valentine's Day is next Monday. Oh, not like, you know, in a day Monday, but next Monday. <gasps> I'm sure everyone here, Yu-Gi-Oh! enjoyers, super into that, right?
Yes. Pandemic shut down my love life. <gasps> Me too. That's that's my excuse. Waking the dragon is good in MD with a lot of back row running. And that or a boo boo trap. Why would you attack your own chat like that? I'm just asking what your, your Valentine's plans are. Man, I still haven't drawn a single Exodia yet. I'm trying to get back in the field, but I haven't found anyone worth it. Let me give you some advice. Don't do what I do, which is work all day. And never talk to anyone. I think that would probably help if you just take that little bit of advice. My Valentine's plan is buying discount chocolate today. Dude, I used to love doing that. Like, I've never been in a, uh, in a partnership, but I've always loved Valentine's Day because I love chocolate. And I especially love buying 10 pound bags of chocolate for half off on the day after. It wasn't until I started having uh, stomach problems where I can't really have chocolate anymore that Valentine's just kind of turned into a normal day. I used to love Valentine's Day. But since I can't really have chocolate anymore, it's just like, whatever. Me and all my single friends are having a platonic night out. <gasps> you have friends? Imagine being alone on Valentine's. <gasps> I know, right? La cringe. But two copies of Roll Decree in my Sky Striker deck, just in case I counter Eldritch. So far, I've been lucky enough to draw them against Eldritch. Oh, wow, that's nice. I bet that completely shuts him down. I'm surprised he's just kind of sticking it out. Anymore, they get rid of all the V-Day chocolate before the day is even over? Uh, yeah, they do at some places. Walmart chocolate half off. Most other places are like, hey, we have all of this extra chocolate that's just gonna go to waste. Of course we want to sell it off. The thing is that like, people will go like early in the morning the next day to buy it all. <laughs> So it seems like they get rid of it sometimes, but actually they just like sold it all out. Because also people just go to the store and buy chocolates on Valentine's Day like in droves. That's probably when they sell like half their chocolate is on Valentine's Day for the people who forgot. My date is a case of smurged off ice. Ooh. Why does he keep playing? Dark Magician's gonna have deck out? I mean, I'll draw Exodia before I can deck out. Are, are people in chat um, alcohol enjoyers? I myself don't do any form of narcotic. Which means no alcohols, no smoking of any kind. I only get high on life. And junk food. I don't like the taste of alcohol. Yeah, sometimes. Do you play Sangan? It's a good chunk of the cards that gets outed. No. I don't think I need Sangan. I just gotta make sure not to discard my uh, Exodia pieces. Is this a card that can pierce by Chaos Max? Yep. Yes, sometimes I only drink after having sexual intercourse. <gasps> so you don't drink? Why not Battle Fader? Because I can't summon any monsters. I only drink coffee. Oh yeah, I drink coffee too. The only narcotic I consume is, uh, is caffeine with the soda pops and coffee. Two of my friends got dumped this month. It's so sad. What did they do? Spirits are strong, but numb the pain. <laughs> Booze and medicine don't really mix. 
Is there an easy way to get Exilia in his deck? Is it just draw and pray? No, I'll draw it eventually. Basically, my opponent can't do anything, so, uh... It's up to my opponent to just kind of pass until I eventually get it. We have Max C, our draw- yeah, Max C's my draw engine. Maybe my opponent has a... I don't know, a Kaiju in his deck. Hello, Dulogs. Hello there, Mr. Metal. I put Kaiser Keelum, Kaiser Coliseum so I can further limit their summons against Eldlich. I would think Eldlich would like Kaiser Coliseum on their side of the field. I keep forgetting Kaiser Coliseums in the game because like I'm so used to that card being banned. And it's like, hey, do you want a ridiculously strong floodgate that doesn't actually floodgate you at all? Yeah, play Kaiser Coliseum. Okay. Why can't he do anything? And he can't ride Geki over him? So, to explain this deck. This card right here he is uh, immune to all card effects while it's the only card on your side of the field. Um, one of its XC's materials, right hand shark, makes it so he can't be destroyed by battle. So, he can't be affected by card effects and he can't be destroyed by battle so this is what we call in Yu-Gi-Oh a completely invulnerable monster the only way to get rid of it is with things that get rid of completely invulnerable cards like I don't know a kaiju see he drew Regeki so piercing damage and kaijus yeah pretty much there is a Link 2 monster in the game called Pentastag, which grants any monster it points to piercing damage, so that can get over it. And it's a normal quality card too, so you can easily run it in your deck. So if they just have that, then I'm screwed. There's a card that lets you win in 20 turns? Yeah, I could do that, or I could just wait until I draw into Exodia. Or until my opponent quits, because there's nothing I can they can do. The opponent should be playing Dynamist. Spinos, don't care. Oh yeah, attacking directly is also a way to get around it. Because since I can't have any cards in the field, I have to rely on my hand to protect myself. This is why you put two Kaiju in every deck? Exactly. There is also an extra deck monster of Link 5 which allows you to use one of your opponent's monsters as a material, which can also out the card. If you don't want to have to play Kaijus in your main deck. The problem is that I run more than one copy and I can go into this card very easily. So if you stop one of them, I can just go into another. Eebly is a fun way to get around it. Eebly can get around it? I mean, maybe if you go first, there's lots of ways to stop it from going first, like, there are many ways to stop this deck from just setting up the combo. Once the combo is set, though... Oh, because Ebly summons itself to your opponent's side of the field. I get it now. Yeah, that would stop it, too. Maybe an effect that targets the player works? Yes, effects that target the player do work. So evenly matched would work if it wasn't for the fact that... Um, it's the only card I have on the side of the field. There is a Magic Key Link monster, no, XC's monster that has an effect that can get rid of it. But, I mean, who plays that archetype? There's also Tribute um, Share the Pain, which gets rid of it. Does King of Calamities work? No, I don't think so. He's just passively immune. It's like Ultimate Falcon, but with battle protection. So, Tribute, Pierce, Direct Attack, Burn Damage, Summon to enemy side of the field. Or Special Summon win. Seven different conditions to get out. Yeah, exactly. Can your opponent creature swap? No, he's immune to card effects, so if I target it, it's not going to move anywhere. Oh my god. 
<laughs> uh oh, I got maxed. Does Gakini work? Dakini? I, I'm not. Uh, let's see. That's the Cyber Angel, which forces your opponent to send a card to the graveyard. That might work, actually. What's the gimmick here? I stall out until I draw the five pieces of Exodia. And I just watch my opponent suffer as they can't do anything to my indestructible. No. Invulnerable monster. Indestructible implies that a monster can't be destroyed by battle or card effects, and that's it. Invulnerable is everything. Or just immune. Immune is probably the better word for it. He is immune to being removed from the field. Sup, got here from YouTube videos. Nike work. Thank you, Demi. He's gonna try to banish my card? He's not going anywhere, though. What about Soul Exchange? No, Soul Exchange is an effect which uh, affects your opponent. Would Droplets work on it? Nope. He's immune to effects. So Eldritch has an ouch because it sends to the graveyard? Nope. Send is an effect. You think he's figured out how they're going to try to Exodia? I don't know if he knows I'm playing Exodia yet. I can't exactly activate any cards because that puts a card on the field. I would like to activate a Pot of Desires or a Pot of Prosperity and show my opponent my deck so that he knows what I'm doing, but I can't. Thick Dammy Boy. Doesn't Buster Blader the Dragon destroy Swordsman and Buster Dragon Ruin Cook? Yes, because of piercing damage. Not because of any of their negating effect stuff, though. This is why you need to play Goddess of the Closed World? The Underworld Goddess, do you mean? You want to get passive with direct attacks? Yeah, there are ways to get around it. It's just most meta decks don't play them. There's a very easy to get Link 2 monster that can get around it, too. But can it be destroyed by battle? No. It cannot be destroyed by battle because one of its materials is Right Hand Shark. Where if it uses a material and the other material is water, i.e. Buzzsaw Shark, then the monster gains the effect where it cannot be destroyed by battle. Normally, that is how you'd get around the card, just destroying it by battle. But, he has a lingering effect where he can't be destroyed by battle because of his XC's material. Yeah. This deck is a <laughs> big guy. That's not gonna work. <laughs> so they can just kaiju, pierce, direct damage, or put in a token on your side of the field? Yep. If they're able to put a monster on my side of the field, if they're able to uh, use a kaiju, if they can do piercing damage, if they can attack directly, or if they burn. Like, I went against a bad reaction to Samochi deck, and I actually lost because I had to out damage them, because stalling doesn't matter if your opponent is attacking your life points directly. What is the win rate for this deck? I don't think I've won with this deck yet. <laughs> I'll check. I might have won a one game. I think I won a game because he like quit out so quickly after I got the combo. One also Astro Karibo also can make it so he can't be destroyed by battle. So I have two cards that can uh, grant him the indestructible or invulnerable status. Toons? Yeah, Toons could totally destroy this deck, because they can just attack directly. And I'd be forced to put my monster in attack position and actually try to do something. The opponent got a bad matchup against a stall deck. Is he going to try stealing it again? He's playing Dark Magicians. So maybe he's a new player. And he doesn't understand how to deal with a, a monster that can't be removed from the field. What's Crook's rarity? He's a super rare card. So, uh, kind of hard to deal with. Hey, thank you, Thunder Phoenix. This would be an excellent duel to put on the clip channel if it wasn't for the fact that I, I talked about relationship stuff for the first part of this duel. <laughs> I don't want that going up on the clip channel. If it went to turn 28 online, I would S-H-I-T myself. 
It's almost a 40 minute duel? I've only been streaming for like 20 minutes. Super Polly uses the monster as a material for a tribute, I think. I actually don't know if Super Polly would work or not. Can Utopia Ray effect negate counter this card? Nope. Because he's immune to uh, card effects. Which includes cards that negate. Would Space Cyclone work? What does Space Cyclone do? This person is persistent in trying to remove Crook, but seems to keep failing. Yeah. Monsters which just give blanket cannot be destroyed by X thing really shouldn't exist. Because it always creates a game state where you can be locked out like this. Super Poly doesn't work? Okay, I'll take your word for it. Would bribe me with 20 bucks negate its effect? No. Neither would NFTs. Final Countdown would have won? Probably. <laughs> Final Countdown's at one, though. I played against an Exodia guy today. He literally ended duel in one turn. I was second, didn't play at all. The game just ended first turn. Oh, he must have got really lucky then. A Yu-Gi-Oh! NFT? <gasps> Oh, he doesn't play Dark Calvary. That's right. Dark Calvary has piercing damage. Oh, Dark Calvary would have been bad. Super Poly does not tribute. What about DDD cards? Dark Contract of the Witch, Abyss King, Ragnarok? What about DDD cards? What's the context to that? Oh, you mean like the, the piercers? Yeah, of course. Those work on Crook. Exodian one turn. Discard a card from your hand. Okay. So birds can deal with this deck? Yeah, tri brigades can deal with it. Or specifically the bird up variant. That goes into a little risk uh Xyz. Underworld Goddess of the Closed World can suck up Cook. Yep, it sure can. That's how I lost my first duel play in this deck. They went into Underworld Goddess and just uh, ate it. And gobbled them right up. I need to make an Underworld Goddess for all my other decks. Sad Violin. Is that Sad Violin for my um, Dark Magician play over here? Who keeps trying very hard to destroy my card, but it's just not working. Does he know what your win condition is yet? No, he has no idea I'm playing Exodia. Otherwise he probably would have quit. Maybe he just thinks he can deck me out. He'll probably win by deck out first. <laughs> okay, that sound bite is very appropriate. <laughs> Final countdown is at three master duel, but it's a UR. Is it? I thought it was at one. There's no way it's at three. How can Tri Brigade deal with the deck? The Link 1, no. The Rank 1 Lyralisk monster can attack directly. I know that doesn't narrow it down much. If they were going for a deck out, they shouldn't have negated the Maxi. I need Maxi though. Man, he just keeps going into Dark Magician. I bet after this duel, he's going to play Dark Calvary. The dude isn't giving up. Not only is he not giving up, but he keeps trying to play the game on his turn. As if he can actually out my card. Final Countdown would definitely be a solid alternative win condition in this deck. I mean, maybe, but I already have a win condition. Like, um, here's the thing. The whole deck is revolved around trying to make sure the combo goes off in the first place. 
So I need to play as many cards in the deck that allow the combo to go off. Everything else is secondary. So the fact that, you know, Final Countdown would probably allow me to win faster is secondary to the point where I could just still win anyway. If that makes any sense. Can you add Lava Golem for a second win condition? <gasps> I could, but that still doesn't really uh, answer the question of where I already have a win condition. <laughs> I don't need another one. <laughs> like, the deck has a win condition. There go, and therefore, I don't need another one. So there are other ones that could also work with the deck, sure. But, I have a win condition already. And it's a very effective one. Lava Golem would be nice, but it's real easy to get rid of Lava Golem in a, uh, a format that has Link monsters. Lava Golem is a much more scary boss monster in Duel Links, where Link monsters don't exist yet. Deck idea? Oh, that would be a good command to add. The main win condition is tiring the opponent out. The, my main win condition is for my opponent to surrender. Like, that is the fastest way I can win with this deck. Th my opponent is not surrendering, which means we're going for the slow win condition of Exodia. It will happen eventually. Santa Claus would be good? Eh, not really. I don't really, uh, need those cards. Are there any permanent defensive buff cards? Wait, let me see that. Are there any permanent defensive buff cards to help with piercing damage? Yeah, Pentastag. Pentastag is a Link 2 monster that only requires two effect monsters. It's a normal rarity. It grants all monsters that points to piercing damage. If they just ran Pentastag in their deck, I would be sweating bullets right now. But they're not, so I'm not. Your opponent is trying every effect possible. <laughs> it, it's the line of card right here. While you control no other cards in the field, this card is unaffected by cards' effects. Like, it's just... If, if it's a card and it has an effect, he's unaffected by it. Goddess is an easy out? True. But it's a UR that not everybody plays. I just tuned in, why can't he destroy it by battle? Because one of his Xyz materials is right hand shark. Where? The Xyz monster that it's underneath, as long as the other material is also water, grants it the effect where he cannot be destroyed by battle. Normally that is how you destroy Crooked Cook, is just by battle. But, that ain't happening. A kaiju will be game over for you too? Yep, that is true. Kaiju is an instant game over. Because I don't have any of my protection in hand right now. I do have other stall cards and hand traps and stuff where I should be able to survive for a turn and then try to get it out again on my next turn. I can go into the combo very easily. And I can go for go into it at least two times every turn. Isn't it your bedtime? It is my bedtime, but I got back from my uh, my prior engagement pretty late. I think he's waiting on a kaiju. Maybe. I'm waiting on two more pieces of Exodia. You're pretty unlucky with your draws. I know, right? No Exodias, no Swift Scarecrows. Just a whole bunch of nothing. Evenly match this guy would be funny. Well, I can't evenly match because I have a card in the field. If he does manage to get rid of it, then I can't evenly match during my opponent's turn because I'll have no other cards in the field. You can't steal it, either direct attack or piercing damage. Yep, or burn damage if you have some way to deal continuous burn damage every turn. Right Arm of the Forbidden One is definitely at the very bottom of your deck? No, don't say that.
Can your Xyz monster be banished? No. Because he's uh, immune to card effects. <laughs> Unless he can banish me without a card effect, then yeah, he can be banished. Burn with Live Twin Copian. <gasps> Swift Scarecrow, this will survive me for a turn if he does manage to get rid of the cook. Turn 37. This is probably one of the longest duels I've had so far. Let's send Astral Karibo to the grave. I wonder if he'll be able to get through it or not. Can he put something for the summation of ways it can be defeated so people stop theory crafting? So the way it can be defeated is with a Kaiju, with a Link 5 monster. I forget her name. With piercing damage, attacking directly, effect damage, or another alternative win condition. A lot of those things the average meta decks don't have. Underworld Goddess. Yeah, that's the name of it. Kagari. Yeah, Sky Strikers have an attack directly card. I just watched your alternative win condition video and here you are playing Exodia. Well, you know, I was actually writing a script on like failed cards and mechanics on alternative win conditions. And I eventually had to scrap it because alternative win conditions is not a failed mechanic. It's just not an often used one. And then I had the same problem for the next video I was writing. I was like, okay, this isn't actually a failed mechanic, it's just not used very often. <laughs> oh wow, he's banishing a lot of cards. Why doesn't he play that? Because it's a UR. Pentastag is way easier to play. How does one guy not have Dark Calvary? I know, right? What's your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! anime? Um, the World Legacy series. Rongo Bongo with five materials is an alternative win condition. Pretty much. Outing a Rongo Bongo is way harder than outing a crook. And Rongo Bongo can be brought out in a meta deck. It's crazy. Ancient Gears destroy this? Well, nobody plays Ancient Gears, so I don't have to worry about that. What even is the Alto Rongo Minion? Um. There are some cards I can out it. It's just. It's not Kaiju's, it's not Sphere Mode. You'd have to use something like uh, Abyss Designator. Is this your first game? Yeah! We're on turn 40. The Alterongo is going next game. <laughs> the Alterongo is gonna have the card fucking banned. Herald of the Abyss. Oh! <gasps> One more and I win. I have 14 cards left in my deck. You have to out him before five turns. Oh yeah, I guess you can just stall for five turns. That works too. But Rongo doesn't restrict the player who's playing it at all, so... Like, Rongo is played in meta decks, and a meta deck's not gonna let you stall out for five turns. You know? The 41 turns? How many more turns are it gonna take to draw the last piece of Exodia? Uptime? Doesn't Twitch have a thing that shows you how long the stream's been live for? Oh no, it's this deck. Yeah, it's the Invulnerable Exodia deck. Not a mobile? Oh, okay. I forget you can watch Twitch on mobile. I watch YouTube streams on mobile all the time. Probably not a mobile embed, 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 embedded. Okay. Evenly matched by opponent. He's waiting patiently. He's finally stopped trying to destroy Cook and he's just waiting. Maybe he's gonna try to deck me out. He has 13 cards in the deck. I have 13 cards in my deck. He has ways to recycle cards back into his deck. I draw first. 
He's searching. Why are you searching? No, he can summon. He's summoning. He's probably summoning. What I need my opponent to do is just stop trying to use Fex and just end his turns quicker. Because my opponent just keeps trying to use effects. Ooh, the Magician! Your opponent cannot destroy your spell or trap cards, and also they cannot be destroyed by card effects. Oh, I mean, they can't be targeted or destroyed. Dark Magic Circle, is he banishing one of his own cards? No, he's going to try to banish my card again. Hmm, I'm not sure if that's a mandatory effect. Yeah, you can target. It's not mandatory. He just keeps choosing to use it anyway. It'd be also fun if he was running Exodia. There's no way he's running Exodia. Exodia sucks. Okay, so what are the chances I draw the last piece I need out of the last 12 cards in my deck? All I need to do is not accidentally discard one of my Exodia pieces. <laughs> 1 in 12? It's a 1 in 12 chance? I don't know. Sounds kind of suspicious. Be sure to add a dual winner in your deck. A dual winner? You mean like the Exodia pieces? Like all five pieces of Exodia that I have here? Yeah, I hate this deck. I had to play against this deck today was playing Infinite Tracks. <laughs> yeah, this deck is, uh, it's disgusting. You did with the last piece of Exodia in the deck, right? Yeah, I got all pieces. <gasps> Pot of Prosperity, I could dig for it. <laughs> the problem with digging for the card is that this puts a card on the field so he's no longer affected, unaffected by card effects. But if this card resolves... I'll wait. I'll wait until there's uh, six cards left in the deck, and then I'll dig for it. Do not. I'll do it. I'll do it, just you watch. You can't stop me. Let me just check his graveyard real quick. Okay, he doesn't have the the Magician Negate in the graveyard. I'll do it. I'll wait till I have six cards left in my deck, though. That will let me dig for the last piece of Exodia. It does make my card vulnerable for, like, half a second, though. <gasps> Infinite Impermanence! Oh no! Why is 59 indestructible? Because he's immune to card effects and can't be destroyed by battle. How many cards are left? 11. 7 is a guarantee? Because if you don't dig it, it goes on top? Oh, but then I have to survive for a turn. I want to be able to win as soon as I activate Pot of Prosperity. Poor guy, no fun allowed. He's the one who keeps summoning monsters, even though I have an immune monster on the field. This guy is really trying his best. I don't know why. If I was him, I would have quit already. Maybe he has one kaiju in his deck somewhere, and he's just waiting to draw it. Can Chaos Max attack over it? It sure can. Piercing damage is this card's worst nightmare. He's going for those mission rewards? Oh yeah, mission rewards. I should add Golden Ladybug to this deck for mission yes. rewards too. Hobbies. Thank you, Ototovi Navis. 97. He just wants dual points. I just want my last piece of Exodia. Who needs Maxi? Well, actually, my opponent summons monsters all the time. Maybe I could have kept that. But I needed the other cards. If he does decide to start attacking, I need Swift Scarecrow to save me. And Pot of Prosperity can allow me to dig for the last piece. How come you won't Pot of Prosperity? Because I have to put it on the field. And if it goes on the field, then Cook is no longer immune to card effects. So, you know, it's only on the field for like a second, but that gives my opponent the opportunity to activate his quick effects in order to uh, stop it. 
and maybe get rid of Cook so that I no longer have a wall to protect myself. You could have done the Leg of Exodia. He doesn't need that. I do need it, though. How long is this game? This game has been going for like half an hour so far. Maybe a little bit longer. Okay. I just need that last piece of Exodia. Are you going to do anything? Left hand shark? You might have skill drain face down waiting. Skill drain face down won't do anything. You can't negate Exodia's effect. There's only nine cards left. My opponent has nine cards too. Which means as long as my opponent waits and believes I don't have a win condition, then I will eventually draw. Imperial Order? <clears throat> okay, Imperial Order could kill me if I if I get to the sixth card in my deck. And I haven't won yet. I would love to troll an Eldlich player. Yeah, just keep playing this deck until you face Eldlich, and then uh, concede against everyone else. Yeah, I'll be honest. The main way you're supposed to win with this deck is for your opponent to concede once they figure out what's going on. And then they look through their stuff to see if they have an out or not. I'm pretty sure um, someone who plays Dark Magician is probably just going to keep playing it out. What do you mean? This game is on the edge of your seat action. I know, right? At least he finally stopped trying to attack. He would do like full combo every turn for like the first 30 turns. And it's like, could you not? This is taking way longer than it needs to. He gets to summon all of his favorite cards. I know, right? Unless I am wrong, you must have completed in tournaments. Have you won any or how many have you won IRL or online? No, I rarely play Yu-Gi-Oh! Like IRL. I'm like a completely online only player. I went to a locals once, well twice, but only one of them where I actually competed because the other one, no one else showed up. Um, and I had like a Macro Monarch deck that wasn't meta. And I won half my games. I would have won more games, but I forgot to activate Macro Cosmos during my opponent's turn. <gasps> Raigeki! I can destroy all my opponent's cards! Imagine not playing this game IRL. I mean, who plays IRL? Why would you play IRL when you could just play, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro online? I was basically a Yu-Gi-Oh! Proer until 2017 when uh, Master Duel, no, Duel Links came out. And then I basically just played Duel Links all the time instead. Although I've only touched Duel Links like once since Master Duel came out. Wait, is that Destiny Draw? Why is my opponent waiting? He's deciding if he should use a card effect or not. <gasps> There's six cards left in the deck. Why didn't anybody tell me there were six cards left in the deck? Oh no! <laughs> it's too late to pot a prosperity now. Okay, I'm scared. I'm scared to use it. I'm gonna... I'm just gonna wait. The chat is always telling you. No one in chat told me. We told you? No one in chat told me. You guys are, are, are gaslight girl bossing me. You want to know if it's literally the last card? I want to know that too, because it seems like it is. I'll be up front, I didn't tell you. My bad. See? Choco Bunny. He's saying what everyone else is too afraid to say. He's, he's uh, what's the word for it? Based. The Choco Bunny is, is the most debased member in chat. The hostage deck. I'm so close to winning, I only have one more piece! Imagine not ten teching Pentastag for a cook stall. I know, right? I'm gonna put Pentastag in all of my decks from now on. 
Imagine reverse winning with Exodia. <laughs> There's no way he has Exodia. <laughs> you can't just play Exodia in your deck as an engine. It's something you have to build around. There's four cards left. I can Pot of Prosperity on my next turn, as long as he doesn't negate it. And just do the, the mill three. Use it next turn, dual logs. What if I draw it next turn? You never know, you know? He will negate it. He doesn't have a negate on board. Yeah, I'm, I'm double checking. He doesn't have any negates. I'm checking his graveyard. His graveyard doesn't have any negates. I'm good to go. I'm, I'm scared. Oh, you put a new card in the graveyard. I have to check that real quick. Okay. All right, I'm gonna do it. Oh no, I'm super nervous. I'm gonna activate Pot of Prosperity. Oh no, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. All I have to do is just wait three more turns. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Oh no, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna do it. He's gonna lose me the game. Oh no, I'm so screwed. Watch him solemn. Solemn uh, removes his opportunity to remove it because it's a counter trap. Oh my god. That was too funny. Man, I was so nervous to use that. Too late. See, I see Dragon Prison. Oh, actually, there's no monster in the graveyard that shares its uh, type. It's a warrior. Oh! <gasps> No, that summons it to his side of the field. Oh, thank God. Oof, I got scared there for a second. I was like, that card summons a card from my graveyard, but to his side of the field, not mine. Finally completed my five traps mission. You can keep it. I'm lost. Why isn't this guy attacking you? Because my card can't be destroyed by a battle. So, he, he tried attacking, believe me, he tried really hard. He would not stop attacking for the first 30 turns. He eventually stopped. After he's like, you know, my cards aren't destroying this thing by battle. Maybe, maybe I should stop attacking it. Can't he banish it though? No, because it's immune to card effects. It can't be destroyed by battle, and it's immune to card effects. Yeah, he tried. In, uh, in three more turns, I win. I can't believe the last piece is at the bottom of the deck. Oh, he got Dark Magician out again. Turn 69? You think I'll win on turn 69? I don't know if it'll go that far. I'm almost out of cards in my deck. Watch him play a random needle worm meal. It mills you out? There's no way. This is still my turn. I'm just trying to end my turn, but my opponent's not letting me. He keeps trying to do combos as if it's going to do anything. What if he has Trishula? Trishula is a... Uh, it's monster effects. So it wouldn't work. I get what you're saying. There are monster effects which make your opponent send things which get around it. But Trish isn't one of them. Uh, the benefit of Trish is that it doesn't target, but it still is a monster effect. What's this guy trying to make? I have no idea. He's, he's trying to make Dark Magicians to get over my cook. The dude doesn't play Unicorn? Unicorn wouldn't work either, because it's a monster effect. There it is. I got it. That's game over. I won. Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> Perfectly timed. <laughs> Whoever sent in that emote, good job. That was well timed. Wait, it was actually the last cart? No, it was like the, the third one from the bottom. I played against the Trasty yesterday and win because of the Time Lord effect? Really? Because of the effect damage? Wow, how long was that duel? Holy shit. That was almost an hour because he refused to quit. Oh, he also won the last one too. No, that was, um... No, I won the last one too. Whoa. Let me see his deck. Did he have an out to my card in his deck? Nope. He did not. So he was hoping to deck me out <laughs> by <laughs> having one more card in his deck than mine. Okay. I can do one more duel. Assuming it doesn't take another hour. That is 7,000 reward using this deck. A 7,000 reward? What? Four minutes, 55 minutes. Yeah, that was a ridiculously long duel. Mainly because my opponent decided to actually play it out. Am I up first? Cool, full combo. I'll activate this, search out right hand shark. And then special summon Cook Boy. Wow, that was a little bit too easy. All right, it's your your move, X Lax. Yeah, you can literally step the combo with one card. It's is real easy. I mean, just because the last guy didn't have an out doesn't mean this guy won't. There are actually a lot of outs to it. Like Gaia decks have piercing damage, for example. Arm Dragon Thunders don't. Okay. I I'm not a hundred percent familiar with how Arm Dragon Thunders work, but I did read through all their effects when I was making the level video. But that was like two or three months ago. And catapult does? That catapult, uh... Only special summons from the deck. Ooh, Arm Dragon. Level 10. Wait, did I see Catapult Turtle? That was the retrained Catapult Turtle. Does Arm Dragon Thunder do any burn damage? I don't think so. Mound of the Bound Creator. Oh, that's a good way to protect it. Dragunity Arma. Oh! <gasps> Oh no, Dragunities can attack directly. Oh no. Also, it loses a thousand attack reach equip card. When your opponent wants to destroy a battle inside of the graveyard, you equip to this card. You can use this effect once per turn. Is this trains? Is it? Trains burn. Two level chance. Chance of a Gustav? He would have to go into Gustav three times to win. No, only twice. No Gustav. Okay, well I have two of the pieces already. Maybe it won't take me uh, my entire deck to draw all of them. It's up to you, Axlax. Do you have Pentastag in your deck? If you have Pentastag or the Underworld Girl, then uh, those are two extra deck outs to this card. Gustav, does he have two of them? Oh. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. Good idea, though. Fortunately, I don't have a monster effect. Spear Dragon would work? Yeah, Spear Dragon would work, but I would just put him into attack position for like a turn to stop that. Which would leave me super vulnerable to a Utopia double. Maybe it won't take my entire deck. 
What if I just use the Pot of Prosperities? As soon as they come up, instead of waiting. Imagine a crook cook dinner. I know, right? Book of Moon is in effect. It won't work. Yeah. See, this is how it's supposed to go. Like, once they figure out, hey, I don't have an out to this card, they quit. It's not supposed to take an hour of them doing combo after combo of where it doesn't result in a game in change state. Uh, a change in game state. Man, I'm tired. <laughs> it's my day off, but I've been working all day. So, let me see his deck. Did his deck have an innate out to this? He had one Gustav Max. If he had two of them, he had it. He had game right there. Two of them, that's 8,000 points of damage over the course of four turns. He had Gustav, but he only had one Gustav. That's not enough Gustavs. This was, uh, he was done though. Does he have a way to return Gustav? I don't think so. Psh, easy win. All I have to do is just bring out Cook Cook and I win. Because he can't be destroyed by anything. Does the Juggernaut do piercing? Nope. If he was playing the Gaia deck, I would have been more scared. Because Gaia has access to a card which grants all their uh, Gaia's piercing damage. Real trains, Earth Machines have ways to recycle their machines. <gasps> Full combo. And cross out designator. Neat. Okay, so what we do is we go into Buzzsaw Shark. Then I activate Buzzsaw Shark. On self, target. Right hand shark from deck. And special summon Cook Cook in defense position. GG. However, now it's time to see. Let's play the game. Does my opponent have an out? Do they have a kaiju? Do they have pentastag? Do they have the underworld girl? Any particular you summon to the middle column? No. I really shouldn't summon to the middle column. The two columns you want to avoid are the middle column and the leftmost column. Because a uh, transverser can swap you if you do that. But it doesn't matter because he's immune to card effects. I can put him wherever I want. Do they have piercing? Yes. It's let's play the game. Does my opponent have piercing damage in their deck? Do they have a kaiju? Do they have a cards I can attack directly? The answer to that question is heroes do have a card that can attack directly, but they usually only play one copy if they play it at all. Or heroes can attack directly. Exactly. <gasps> Pot of Prosperity! Should I... Should I use it? Yeah, I'm gonna use it. I need to show him. I need to show him what he's up against. He needs to see a piece of Exodia. To see how screwed he is. That way he'll give up. Damn it! No Exodias. I'll just grab another pot of prosperity. Doesn't matter. At least I know what's at the bottom of my deck. I forget his name. And the gold one can pierce, correct? The gold one, Pandastag. Hero also has a pierce link. Oh. <gasps> They do! Oh no. Oh no. Let's try another one. This guy doesn't seem smart enough. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really sure why he hasn't tried to go into it yet. Nobody plays Blade Edge. 
There it is. Hmm. Hmm. I'll add one piece of Exodia to my hand. Select the order you want the cards in. Uh, does it put it like this? Like, oh wait, I think it's the other way around, right? So one, two, three, four. Like this, so this one's at the highest end or is it the very bottom? Shit, I don't know how it, it places cards at the bottom of the deck. Bottom five, let's go. I will go with this. Hopefully I didn't put it at the bottom of my deck. Make leg one? Okay, I did. So I know I have the leg at the bottom five of my deck. So I have to wait at least <laughs> 25 turns for the leg. Because it looks like my opponent is not going to make this easy for me. Isn't activating spells dangerous? Yes, extremely so. My intent was to activate the pot to show him that I'm playing Exodia so that he quits faster. So I don't have to actually draw Exodia. The most efficient way to run this deck is as soon as you get the combo to just not activate card effects at all. He's making it easy. He's not summoning a million things. True. He's not summoning anything. I'm not sure why. How is he immune to damage? The card itself is immune to card effects as long as you don't have any cards in the field. Which is why I'm not setting anything on the field. And also, one of his XE's materials gives him immunity to destruction by battle. Cookie Mama. What does he look like? Number 59, Crooked Cook. It's weird that this is the dude who's invulnerable to card effects. Plasma is a stole effect. Cook is immune, though. Yes, Cook is immune to all card effects. He's waiting for a random Kaiju. Yeah, Kaiju will help. It won't let him win the game, but it will definitely help. There we go. Doesn't really matter because I know where my other Exodia pieces are at. Or actually, I could activate another card in order to reset. I could just use Prius and it will reset my deck. It'll it will shuffle it. Because it searches. Currently I know one of my piece of Exodia is at the bottom five of my deck. Because I put it there myself. What is Piri Rias for? Piri Rias searches out a whole bunch of my cards. More specifically, it can search out uh, B Tuna Full Princess, who can start the whole combo. Or if not, it can also search out Ash Blossom. Mass change. Uh oh, does he have Anki? Onky is bad news bears. Maybe he was just waiting to draw Onky this whole time? It's weird because I thought if it's unaffected by card effects and it's immune to piercing damage? Nah. That's like a technicality. Technically, piercing damage doesn't affect a monster. It affects, like, the rules of the game. Yep, he's playing Onky. No, so there are some hero decks that just play Anki natively. It's over? Well, it's not over yet. I have a couple of turns before it's over. And now it's GG. Well, there's always a chance that I'll draw the next three pieces of Exodia. <laughs> you know? I just play Anki because I only have one Dark Law. I also have Raigeki in the deck, so if I draw that, I'll be good to go. You need to go for the shuffle? Yep. I'm gonna do that in my next turn. I'm gonna uh, do Prius Rius map. Because the last leg is the bottom of the deck. 
So I have to shuffle the deck. What the hell was that? A fart sound? I don't have the fart sound thing turned on. And fart with reverb? <laughs> what the hell? I do have one to gate. He can uh, he can hit for fourteen hundred each turn, but it's not enough because I am going to win this super poly. Oh, <gasps> he got rid of it for me. And copium, yeah. This is awesome. Most hero players only play one copy of Anki. Super Poly only lets you use cards on the field. It doesn't let you use the hand, so you can't back out. Yeah, this deck seems like it's a lot of tech place for Lava Golem. He has to use it. They're gonna scoop Meow. Maybe. He was forced to go into Sunriser. <laughs> he tried to use your card. Yep, I know. He was trying to Super Poly Crook Cook. Would Super Poly get rid of Cook? You know, I just an I just found the answer to that because I wasn't 100% sure myself. But I can confidently say, yes, he's immune to Super Poly. Newbie hero play- hey, I wasn't even 100% sure if that would work or not. What the hell is that? Elevator music? D Doctor? Cat Jam? Hero players are worse than Yugi Boomers? Hey, I like heroes. I eat contact fusion. If you set super poly down and change it to the pot, then you would have been fine. Yeah, that's actually a way to get rid of it. Although I don't have any more pots because I only have two cards left in my extra deck. I am all out of pots that I can activate. He's going for decimator. Heroes get hate for no reason. Hero players, all they want to do is just spend lots of money to play a tier 2 deck. Is what I've heard about them. It's like, hey, that's a nice board you have there. Why don't I give you a rock in exchange for it? Ooh. That's not the piercer. Maybe he has the piercer in his deck, who knows? Hero players be like, special summon you are. Extremely competitive Master Duel's best of one format. I like pure element of hero or pure evil, pure evil hero decks. Pure hero decks, that's not how meta heroes play. Are you playing an inefficient version of heroes? The optimal way to play heroes is to play all of them. You need a mix of the destiny heroes, the elemental heroes, the vision heroes, the evil heroes, and uh, the extra heroes. And I said destiny heroes, right? Because destiny heroes are also part of that. The hero hero, vision hero Ferris, Ditching Celestial to the Grave. Can Crook be removed by access code? Nope. Don't forget Ma- yeah, and Masked Heroes? I forget about Masked Heroes, the only hero archetype, which is extra deck only. There are no main deck Masked Hero monsters in the game. Or, or Contrast Heroes? You can't forget about Contrast Heroes, there's all of one of them. What about Hero Kid? Hero Kid isn't a hero. As 
as long as we agree that any good deck should run 3x Spider-Man. Who's Spider-Man? I mean, I know who Spider-Man is, but like... Ah, oh, fuck, he got it. That's the piercer. He has it. Yeah, he has, he has another out. Oh my god. That was lucky. As long as he doesn't negate this, I'm good. <laughs> oh my god. That was so lucky. That's like Destiny Draw levels. <laughs> that was my only out. And I drew it exactly when I needed it. Is this is this how is this how Yugi actually won all of his duels? You just like draw the card you need to win when you need it? Like what are the chances he's playing another one or a way to recycle it? Zero. There's zero chances he has another one. Just be lucky? Exactly. Yugi cheats, man. I know. That's called Destiny Draw. That was basically a Destiny Draw skill moment from Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Okay, so from what I know of hero decks, generally they only play one Anki, and if they play the Piercer, they only play one copy, because he's like the worst. Absolute zero. And considering this dude is playing Super Polymerization, that means his extra deck is completely full. Because he's playing all of the Omni Heroes, too. Which means... I'm fine. I'm going to activate this to shuffle my deck. This is super risky, because if he gets rid of it now, I'm dead. Because I have a card in the field. Just let this go through. I'm trying to shuffle my deck to make this over quicker. I play two of the piercer because I'm done and also I hate cook. <laughs> Oof. Select a card to add from your deck to your hand. Sure, I can't use it. I'm just doing this to shuffle my deck. There we go. Maxi. That ain't gonna do anything. You said that four times now. Hero, 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 all I hear from you is the dual logs hero. What about heroes? I mean, I'm playing a hero deck. What do you expect? Continue your main phase? Heck no. This is game over. I'm locked out of monster effects though. Am I locked out forever, or is it just until I play the card? I mean, or is it till the end of the turn? Start at main phase one, add a monster, but have your life points. Um, after adding it to your hand, until the end of the next turn, after this card is activated, you cannot activate the added monster's effects, or the effects of cards with its name. Until you normal summon that monster or card with its name. Oh, okay. So I'm just locked out for two turns, that's fine. Just as long as my opponent doesn't have another Anki or another Decimator. I think that's his name, right? It's a Dread Decimator, yes. As long as he doesn't have another Decimator or another Anki, I'm good to go. There's nothing he can do to stop me. And Anki and Decimator are not prime hero cards. Like, they're not itching to play multiple copies of them. Why are they playing Neos? I have no idea. Why are they playing Decimator or Anki? Oh, they're going for it. Well, I guess they decided not to. <gasps> just two more. I got this. I just need two more. Victoria. 
impossible. <gasps> no one's ever been able to call him. Oh my god, I need to add that sound file to mine. I don't even run Anki. Yeah, most hero players don't really run Anki, and if it is ran, it only comes at one. Rise and grind, my fellow VTuber simp. Oh, there's someone else in chat who's really into VTubers? Or is that just me? Hobbies. Called by the grave? What is he calling by the grave? Oh, maybe he's finally given up. Well, I played. I enter the rabbit hole, I'm too deep now. What is your guys's if anyone is is into them? What are your favoriteest VTubers? Who would you consider your oh she? Did you ever make the VTuber deck? No, I haven't made it yet. Rosemi and Pomu? Oh, those are good choices. Those are really good choices. Kiara is my favorite. Oh, I really like Kiara. Kiara is my favorite in uh, Hollow Ian. Watson? I really like Watson too. Callie or Fruit? These are all excellent suggestions. You guys all have great taste. Nene? I can never really get into watching Japanese VTubers because I don't speak Japanese. And it seems like you'd have to go really out of your way in order to watch it. Petra? <gasps> Petra, she's from the same generation as Rose Emmy. I had to uh, mute my mic while I got some water. My voice was starting. No, my, not my voice. My uh, my mouth was starting to make that clicking noise, which goes away when you're not hydrated. Damn these VTubers! Where can I find your deck list? <gasps> I mean, I, I got this one online. You can probably find it too. Just type in uh, "cooked cook Exodia." Nanners is my favorite. I was a fan of Nanners from before she was a VTuber. I like her as a VTuber too. The only Japanese VTuber I watched was Coco and now Kason sometimes. Oh, okay. Makes sense. I'm still surprised Rosemi hasn't built a Black Rose deck. I think she plans on it. I think it's just all the other cuter decks have just grabbed her attention more. And Iron Mouse? Yeah, Iron Mouse. She did a collab with Rosemi. Evenly matched. Do not use drawn cards. I'm not using my cards. I wouldn't make that mistake for a fourth time. Teacher Geist. <laughs> she's playing Alter Geist and she's like, I hate these cards. I was like, yeah, I get it. Why aren't they attacking? Because my card can't be destroyed by battle. So there's no point. Life Twins Master Duels are so expensive, so many supers and ultras. Absolutely not true building optimally, like every hand trap is an ultra that you need three of in every deck. That isn't a twin is pretty much an ultra rare too. Yep. He just needs piercing damage. <gasps> Effect damage works too! Holy shit, I forgot about that! The effect damage is only when it's summoned, though. <laughs> I forgot about Dystopia's effect damage effect. <laughs> if he has another Dystopia, he can do this. You think he can get another one? Uh, sorry, it was a dumb question. I've been played since Rise of the Dragon Lords was current. What was the dumb question? I didn't see any dumb questions in chat. They're kind of close. We can win with the Monster Reborn too. Can he? Is it activated if it's Monster Reborn as well? Oh, just one more piece. Who's gonna win? All I need is one more piece. Now it's a real race. 
Is he going to get that last piece of disruption? Reinforcements of the army. He's digging. Extra cross could revive Dystopia. I mean, if he has Monster Reborn, like, bringing back Dystopia is the least of my worries. Target a level 4 Lord Destiny Girl Monster in your graveyard. That's not enough. 1600 none of them have 1700 damage none of them none of the level four or lower destiny heroes have more than 1700 attack but he has even if he does monster reborn dystopia it's not enough however if he monster reborns decimator or whatever his name is that's bad yeah dread decimator i need to draw exodia because he might actually be able to do this He's running solid. Reborn in Anki. He has game. How does he have game? None of the cards here give him game. He's going into a Link 6. Hero players don't play Link 6s. They don't really play any Link monsters outside of heroes because heroes are ridiculously uh, archetype centric. Wonder Driver. Oh no, all my stuff destroyed. Underworld Goddess? He doesn't have Underworld Goddess. If he had Underworld Goddess, he would have went into it already. Astral Karibo. Can you share the deck? Sure, I'll show you the deck afterwards. End turn. Astral Karibo, you go to the grave. Oh, there's an I'm Pomu emote? What? That's awesome. Oh, it shows in chat who's playing it. I wonder if they have one for the great Rosemi-sama. Remove Book of Moon? Why, thank you. I'll remember that next time someone forces me to put Book of Moon in the deck. Neos Fusion. Oh no, what if he goes into Rainbow Neos? Then I'm screwed. They don't, sadly? Oh, that's sad. Why would they not have one for the Great Rosemi-sama? Rainbow Neos would be funny. Turn 32? Only turn 32? The other one went to, like, turn 65. Book of Moon will save you one day? Book of Moon is such garbage. That I didn't even mention it even a little bit in my video on the best rare cards. I can't believe Book of Moon ever made it into one of my top 10 videos. It is so useless now that Link monsters are in the game. I've had uh, Rosamie's opening playing Rent Fee in my head. Yeah, the opening is so catchy, isn't it? <gasps> I can't use it. I don't have enough cards in my deck. Damn it. I only have two cards left in my extra deck, so I can't use it. I want him to play Dolphine so bad. Who's Dolphine? Add a dual winner card to the deck. I do have one. It's called the arm, whatever. Should I keep? Yeah, let's get rid of cross up designator. Lightning Storm's probably a better one to keep. Why doesn't he run Dolphin? Oh, shit. Dolphin completely screws me over. I didn't even think of that. Oh, no. <laughs> I have no way to recover my cards if they... That's the game. I won. That's such a good sound file. I don't know how you're doing that, but uh, well <laughs> placed. <laughs> I can't believe I brought out Exodia twice. Hoggies. 
I can't believe I also leveled up with this abomination of a deck. This deck is terrible. No one should ever play it. If you play this deck, you are a terrible person. Let me show you how to play it. So let's go to the match history. First one that my opponent was playing. Did he have any outs to it? Yep, his deck was exactly what I thought. He was playing one ofs of everything. So he had one Anki and he made a mistake and got rid of it with a Super Poly. And he was playing one Decimator. <laughs> I drew my khaki. <laughs> 56 May. <laughs> um, the rest of his deck didn't have an out because he didn't have any Kaijus. Uh, he had a Monster Reborn. That would have won him in the game, actually. Because he could have Monster Reborn Decimator and given his cards piercing damage. This card, also any hero monsters that points to gain 100 attack. For each hero monster, if this card attacks defense defenses monster, inflict piercing damage. Yeah, this would have won him in the game if he got it. So he's basically just waiting to draw Monster Reborn. Plasma also wins? I don't know about that. Destiny Hero Plasma? Is that what you're talking about? No, it doesn't. My monster is immune to his effects. So, here's how you play the deck. You go into uh, number 59, Crooked Cook. While you control no monsters, no, while you control no other cards, it's immune to card effects. But it can be destroyed by battle. Then you have Right Hand Shark. It has the effect where if it is being used as an Xyz material for a monster, and it only has water attribute monsters as its materials, then it gains the effect where it can't be destroyed by battle. Which is super easy to accomplish. Alternatively, you have Astral Karibo, which can special summon from from the hand. It can make itself a, a level of whatever you want, basically. And then it gives the monster it uses an Xyz material where it can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. So you have the option to either use Astral Karibo or Right Hand Shark. It's easy to do Right Hand Shark because Right Hand Shark can be special summoned directly from the deck with Buzzsaw Shark. And Buzzsaw Shark can be special summoned directly from the deck with Bu Tunafo Princess, who can be searched directly from the deck with a Prius Reese map. So, like, if you draw Prius Reese map, you got the full combo because you can use it to search Beyond Tunafo Princess, who can then bring out Buzzsaw Shark, who can then bring out Right Hand Shark, and then go into the combo. Alternatively, if your opponent shuts down Buzzsaw Shark, you can then just bring out Astral Karibo if you have it, and then go into the combo. So it's real easy to go into the combo. Prius Rius. Why not put in Final Countdown? Because the win condition is Exodia. Hey, I have Final Countdown. However, you see, I have the win condition of Exodia, so I don't need another one. The rest of the deck is to make sure you get the combo off. Like, your opponent can stop it if they just like Ash Blossom. Like, if they Ash Blossom any of your steps, you're done. Because they can Ash Blossom Buzzsaw Shark. So that's why I have three Crossout Designator. Um, and I'm playing a bunch of other just random hand traps. No, actually, it's just Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom is my number one concern. I don't care about the other ones. <laughs> What the hell is that one? Gura says, Ara Ara. Oh, that's Gura. <laughs> it didn't sound like her. Call by the Grave is good too? It is. Call by the Grave is excellent too. I don't have any though. Called by. <gasps> I want two called bys. Why am I not playing three maxis? There we go. Play a match? No. I'm gonna go. Bro, look up dual winner card. Dual winner card? <gasps> you mean match winner? Good night? Yeah, time to go. Let's see. Silence Code is playing Master Duel. I'll send you guys over there. Goodbye. Please don't play this deck, people will hate you for it. <laughs>